How's it going, everybody? Today, we're going to be opening up two boxes of the brand new 2223 Upper Deck Allure. This is always a fun product to open up. In the past, it's been pretty similar to OPG Platinum with one autograph and a few numbered cards per box. The only thing that really separates the two, aside from the design, is Allure has sticker autographs. This is the main reason that the product doesn't hold a great long term value. We still have the chase for the purple out of tens and the golden treasure 101, but the stickers on those autographs definitely devalue the secondary market. This year, it says guaranteed one autograph or memorabilia card per per box so it's going to be interesting to see how common the autographs actually are there are also patch autographs to look out for and we have a whole bunch of big names like mcdavid in that set now before we get into the boxes just want to let everybody know that we have release date breaks available at the new allure if you want to join in any of those breaks check out that first link in the description we will be live all day today breaking the new product and as always we'll be doing a giveaway on this video we are going to be giving away the majority of the contents if not everything that we pull inside this box today to one lucky winner all you got to do to get into that giveaway is be subscribed to the channel you got to drop a subscribe drop a like and drop a comment all the rules for that giveaway will be in the description and without further ado let's get into our two boxes of the new upper deck allure okay here we got our eight packs we got matthews on the cover i really like that finally seeing matthews there not a big fan of the orange-ish design i don't think that looks too great on the box but we'll start off with pack number one let's see what we got okay nice design here on the base we are starting off with a victor arvidson that actually looks like a foil no, it's just a base. It looks like everything might be foil this year. Victor Arvidsson. That's got to be a refractor, though. The base are very flashy this year. That's crazy if that's just the base. Looks like it. Uh, Victor Arvidsson to start us off. Then we got Tage Thompson. Our first, I guess this is the black silver of Clayton Keller. Nice one there. And behind that, color flow rookie of Victor Loden, Ottawa Senator. It's not numbered. So many flashy colors in the lure. It's definitely uh, a different design than Platinum goes for. We got the Iced Out of Kaprizov. Kaprizov. Uh, then Lucas Reichel is our first rookie. Troy Terry. And on the back, Nikita Kucherov starting the season off with the first goal of the year. Pack number two. I cannot get over how every base card looks like it's a rainbow. It's crazy. Very, very flashy base. We got Igor Sharangovich to start us off in this pack. Dylan Larkin. Our first die cut, and it's a great one. Orange Slice of Matty Beneers. Doesn't get much better than that for the Orange Slice rookie. There we go. Nice Beneers. Uh, behind that, we got a Keandre Miller. Yellow Green Flow. Uh, this is cool. We got a Runways of Jacob Perot, rookie, Anaheim Ducks. There's the back of that one. And behind it, Vlasic on the rookie, Jeremy Swayman and Leon Dreisaitl. Quinton Byfield starts us off. That's second year Byfield. Cam Atkinson, who's trying to follow us in these breaks. Uh, Nikolai Ehlers, nice red prism. These are great looking cards. Red rainbow, sorry, not prism. Uh, behind that, Michael Bunting on the orange-yellow, not numbered. Uh, this one should be numbered. Kent Johnson, color flow. Let's see what that is. Numbered out of 100, solid. Ken Johnson, we will take that. That's a good one. Uh, ben Mayers, oh, the camera went over on the rainbow. And Patrick Kane, Dylan Cousins. We're still searching for an autograph or the memorabilia card. There's Trevor Zegras. Uh, Bobby Brink, red rainbow rookie. Mike Smith. Oh, we did get an autograph. Nice. Mike Smith. And our autograph is Morgan Baron. So many colors going on there. Crazy looking card on the auto. Then we've got Dylan Sandberg, rainbow. Matt Duchesne and Barack Nelson to finish off. Willie Nylander, Anthony Bavillier. Victor Hedman, red prism. Alexi Lafreniere. And this one should be numbered Ross Colton. That's going to be 14 of 100 on the Ross Colton. Nice. And behind it, Hayden Hodgson, Matthew Barzell, and the Rat Brad Martian, of course. The new captain. You guys got to tell me, am I the only one who gets confused with who's rookie and what year? Mixing up 21-22 and 22-23 because it gets confusing going back one after the other. We got Jordan Greenway. Uh, this one is Jonathan Dalin. Game stills of Adrian Kempe. I feel like that should be game skills, but game stills Kempe. 
Uh, Brandon Biro on the rookie, Lucas Raymond and Barkov. And our final pack, Alex Ovechkin, nice one there. Uh, Timo Meyer, Dylan Sandberg, rookie. Zach Hayes, Alex Ovechkin again. Easy mounts. And we finish off with UC Saros, who had a great first game. Let's move on to box number two and see what we can get. Box number two, we start with Cole Caulfield, Kyle Connor, Mark McLaughlin on the black silver, Brad Marchand, nope, not Brad Marchand, Mark McLaughlin <laughs> on the rookie, uh, blockers of Jack Campbell, Thomas Bordalo, Jordan Greenway, and Alexi Lafreniere. Is it sad that every time I see Boston now, I just uh, automatically assume it's Brad Marchand and hope that it's not? <laughs> we got Ben Mayers, rookie. Uh, behind that, Matt Grizzlick. That is not numbered. Different coloration there. And we had our first quartz of Jacob Slavin. Jacob Slavin, die cut. Wolanski on the rookie and base. What do we got here? Red Prism of Jack Eichel. Chase Pearson. Wow, this card looks sick. B. McDavid. Oh, it's not. Evan Bouchard. What is going on with this card? What is that number to? Crazy look to this. The Glitter Bomb. Not numbered. Oh, no. Out of 199. Jeez. <laughs> Glitter Bomb of 199. Evan Bouchard. That card is crazy. This reminds me so much of Panini's snakeskin card. That's what I would compare it to. The Glitter Bomb Evan Bouchard. Wicked there. Let's see if we can top that Glitter Bomb. So we got Casey Middlestat, Jack McBain. Ooh, here's a nice one at $2.99. Matty Beneers. Iced out Beneers. Back to back boxes. That is awesome. That looks like a cracked ice. Really nice look to that one. Cannot complain when you get the top rookie in both boxes. We got Noah Cates, J Rob, and Fairby. We're looking for that jersey or autograph, Kaprizov. We got Jordan Spence, Barack Besser, and here's our autograph. We went back-to-back -back autos. That's pretty solid. Uh, that is Alex Vlasic on the red rainbow auto. I believe these are the most common autographs in the product. Alex Vlasic, we will take it, though, right after the veneers. This one also has a nice color match to it. Liking the design this year. Really nice card so far. All right, final pack to finish off our second box. We got Jacob Markstrom, Brat, Jake Gensel. Behind that, Mark Kostelik. And our final insert's going to be a game stills of Jake Gensel. To finish us off, Jake Gensel. We got the Marco Rossi, nice rookie. And Jake Gensel again, Tanner Janot. All right, so there's our first look at the brand new 22-23 Upper Deck Allure. Pretty solid first two boxes. We got autographs in both of them. We'll recap just the top hits here. We had the Alex Vlasic Red Rainbow autograph, the Color Flow Auto of Morgan Baron, and two Matty Beneers, the Orange Slice die cut and the Iced Out out of $2.99, and some Wild Color Evan Bouchard on the Glitter Bomb out of 100 Ross Colton and Ken Johnson. Also, to take note, here's our base stack. That is the base stack right there, and all of these are inserts and rookies. Now, this product might not have the biggest high ceiling opportunities to pull monster cards, but you get a ton of inserts and numbered cards and rookies, all that fun stuff in this product. For those who like a ton of cards, this is the product for you. I like the designs this year, some crazy cards like this glitter bomb. So if you guys are opening up, good luck. Stay tuned on the channel. A whole bunch more content coming up as we lead up to the Toronto Expo at the end of the month. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we will see everybody on the next one.